Do you get worried when you have to write because you don't know where to start? Perhaps all your sentences sound the same, which leads to even more anxiety. If English is not your first language, it can feel a bit daunting. So here are six ways to start a sentence. 1. The subject. One of the best ways to start a sentence is to put the subject first and the verb second. The subject of a sentence is the person, place, thing or idea. It has to be followed by a verb, a word that tells you what the subject is doing. I cooked a roast dinner. The dog ran home. Frank read a book. 2. Explaining where or when something happens. You can start a sentence with the words that tell you where something is happening. On the beach, there is a shipwreck. Or it could be beside the beach, by the beach, near the beach. You can also start a sentence with the words that tell you when something is happening. After school, we played computer games. Or it could be before school. Don't forget to use a comma. Number three, ask a question. Have you ever thought of starting a sentence with a question? A question makes the reader think. Which music do you like best? Who is the richest person in the world? Make sure you answer your question in the next sentence. Have you brushed your teeth today? Forgetting to brush your teeth can lead to tooth decay. Number four, an ing phrase, an ing phrase. You can start a sentence with an action ending in. Looking at the clock, she realised she was going to be late. Sitting on the beach, I watched the sun set over the ocean. Running home quickly, she got soaked in the rain. Number five, you can use a word ending ed, an ed word. Frightened by the loud fireworks, the dog hid under the table. Excited about her birthday, she woke up very early. If you start with ing or ed words, don't forget to use a comma before you complete the sentence. Number six, ly words. Finally, the last way to start a sentence is using ly words. Carefully, she tiptoed past the sleeping dog. Hungrily, the dog chewed the bone. These L-Y words also need a comma before you write the sentence. Well, now you have six different ways to start a sentence. Before you start writing, thinking about each way of starting a sentence, compose your sentence and then write it down.